Hey everyone, in this video we're going to do a full walkthrough of Chopcast. So think of this as a tutorial for beginners, especially if you have a lot of videos that you are looking to repurpose using Chopcast and you're not really sure where to start. We're going to basically walk through all the key essentials that you need to know from uploading videos all the way to generating clips automatically, creating your own clips based on topics, and also fine tuning and editing them all the way to the export stage. So let's jump right in. The first thing we're going to be talking about is how to upload videos. So at this stage, you should already have a free Chopcast account. If not, feel free to head over to our website and uh, create one. Basically, what you want to do is simply go to new over here and click on upload video. Right now, we support MP4 files as well as YouTube links, as well as MP3 files. So whether you have a YouTube link that you want to copy and paste or upload an MP4 or even MP3 file from your computer, you'll be able to do so here very easily. You can also decide if you want Chopcast to auto generate clips for you or if you would rather just create your clips from scratch. So that is really as simple as it gets in terms of uploading a video. The next thing then is thinking about how you can auto generate clips. So Thankfully, this is something that happens automatically. And again, within Chopcast, as soon as you upload that video, you just give it five to 10 minutes based on the duration of it. And you're actually gonna see a number, as you can see over here on my screen, a small number under each video. And that actually signifies the number of auto-generated clips that Chopcast has found for you. So let's take this example of a video podcast episode that we've done in the past. These are all auto-generated clips that Chopcast is suggesting. When you look at the titles over here, think of them more as keywords of what was mentioned as opposed to fully polished titles. And if there's anything that I wanted to edit, I'd be able to simply click that and edit it over here. But if I wanted to actually go ahead and download this clip as is, I could simply go to export over here and simply just download the MP4 or any of the other formats, which we will talk about a little bit later. All right, cool. So the next thing then is say we don't want to download the clip as is, we want to edit it a little bit or tweak it up a little bit. That's very easy to do inside Chopcast and we'll look at how that looks like over here. So navigating away from this, we can actually go to edit and this will bring up the video editor of Chopcast. So we'll cover a couple of things over here, but to just start with the easiest way that you can edit the clips is simply looking at the clip over here at the timeline and simply drag the start and end of the clip to match the specific selection that you are looking for. This is especially important if you are keeping, if you're looking to reach like a specific duration or target duration or something like that, you'll be able to simply just adjust the start and end of the clip like so. And you'll notice that the subtitles over here will automatically adjust to that specific section. So if I wanted to shorten this a little bit more, just notice the subtitles over here you'll notice that it also gets reduced based on that specific selection. So that just that just saves you a lot of time when you're editing the subtitles later on. And speaking of which, when it comes to editing subtitles, that's also pretty straightforward. So looking at the subtitles over here, if there's anything that you wanted to switch up, for example, if you wanted to you know, capitalize the first letter or change the spelling of, of a name or if a word was misspelled or misheard, you'll be able to simply just click on the specific word or delete the word that you're looking to uh, to modify and simply click on submit changes like so. From there, you can go ahead and simply export the video. And again, similar menu to the one we were looking at earlier, you could just select MP4 and you can then take that video and upload it to your various social media channels. One more thing to mention as well is that if you like this clip, but you want to create different versions of it for different social platforms, perhaps you want to create like a vertical version and a square version, and a horizontal version for different platforms, you can simply go back to the original page over here and simply go to the top three, to the top right corner rather, and click on the three dots and just simply duplicate the clip. And with every copy, you can decide to create one copy that is a square copy, a vertical copy, and so on. All right, now we're gonna cover how to create vertical, square, and you already know how to create horizontal videos. But before that, I did wanna show you how you can actually create clips in additional ways in case you wanted to add your own clip ideas in addition to what you have gotten through Chopcast automatically, right? So let's take a look at what that looks like. Basically inside here, let's just go back to that original clip. One of the things that we can do is we can actually chop videos based on speaker, especially if you have a video podcast interview or there's more than one speaker in your webinar or event recording in general, 
you could basically go ahead here into the speaker tab and it's actually going to detect to the best of its ability the different speakers that we're speaking and from here for example you can tell that um it's color coded and, and so based on the specific color that you based on the specific speaker that you're looking at you could basically identify like the key parts so if i'm just looking at um all the yellow parts over here i could basically take these and export them as is. And I can also still tweak them similar to the way that we've looked at earlier. And I can actually go ahead and update the current clip with my new selection in case I prefer that over the auto-generated one. Or if I wanna keep the auto-generated one and I actually wanna create this as a separate clip, I can go ahead and click on create new clip over here. And then I can just start editing that separately. So this is a super handy way to just be able to almost have x-ray vision and look into the video and see who was speaking rather than just like trying to skim through the video at like 2x speed to see oh there's another speaker or there's another speaker this is a very quick way to be able to visualize that right away all right cool the next thing then similar to that is creating clips but this time using topics and keywords perhaps you are already pretty familiar with the video and you know for example the top three to five topics that you are looking to extract from that video Again, there is a quick way to do that, which is going to the search filter over here, and you can actually search for specific keywords. So I know, for example, that in this episode, uh, we were talking a lot about like collaboration. So if I wanted to search this word, it's actually going to show me in the timeline over here, it's going to light up the timeline in all the specific parts where that topic was discussed. And then from there, similar to what we've covered before, we could go ahead and then begin resizing that clip or or creating new clips altogether that we can then export for various social media platforms. So this is a super handy way to create clips based on topics and keywords that you already know have been mentioned in the video. And it's a very quick way to be able to find them very quickly. All right, now say we wanted to take this idea of a video and start to resize it for various social platforms and in different aspect ratios. So let's go over how we can create vertical videos as well as square videos. So we can cover those two together. So very, very straightforward. All you need to do is just go into the top right corner here and resize this to nine by 16, which would give you a vertical format or one by one, which would give you a square format. In case you see the subtitles showing up like this, you can simply just refresh it just in case and it will automatically adjust. And this way you could very quickly create a vertical clip and we'll show you in just a second how you can actually add images and text to this video. But very, very quickly, you can create this as a, as a vertical video or as a square video as well. Depending on the way the video has been shot as well, you could decide if you wanted to do a fit or a crop for that specific video. In this case, we're going to keep it as is. All right, awesome. So now we can actually take steps to very quickly just style these clips, whether they're vertical or square or even horizontal by adding text and images to them. So the way to do that is to head over to the left side over here and simply just drag and drop these specific text layers that you want. You could change the font, the font size, the colors, removing the background, um, everything that you need to do. You'd be able to do that very simply. Same goes for images as well. You can simply just upload one of the image formats that we support over here especially if it's like a logo or something else that you want to include in the clip, and you'll be able to add that over here. And that's it. That's just the basics of how you can get a lot of clips done in such a sh short amount of time inside Chopcast. But you can also go beyond video content. So one of the things that we get asked a lot is how do we actually create audio podcasts from these videos? So, so the way to do this is to simply go back to the original video. In this case, it's this one. And in this case, we'll click on view. And this shows us the video on the full video itself in case we wanted to extract any assets from the full video. And if we click on export on the full video, we could basically go ahead and select MP3 over here. And this will allow us to download effectively the, the audio version of that video. And if you believe this can lend itself to a podcast format, then you can very simply take that MP3 and edit it up a little bit or take it as is and upload it to various platforms like Spotify, iTunes, and so on. Now, this can be super helpful, especially if you're looking to be everywhere at the same time and to really make the most out of the work and the content that you've already created in the past. A very quick win is to really take these audio podcasts and publish them on other platforms because you never know where people will discover you. And so by having that audio podcast asset, it's a very quick way to add that to your 
portfolio of, of content that you're creating. And again, it's something that's a hands-free experience for others because they could literally listen to that content while they're driving or while they are taking a walk and you're just creating more opportunities for yourself that way. Now, next up is generating transcripts. So a lot of times people would take the transcripts and find ways to either publish them as is or to basically rework them into SEO optimized articles. And again, using Chopcast, you could do so from that same menu by simply downloading the TXT file, the text file. And I have it open over here. And as you can see, this is basically a transcript of everything that was discussed. Now, this is something that we could easily rework into an SEO optimized article, and perhaps come up with the top three to five headlines or topics that were discussed and really format the article that way without needing to always write it from scratch every time. All right, and so last but not least, Chopcast is designed to become a mit. All right, and last but not least is perhaps you might want to do more editing beyond the scope of what is available inside Chopcast. Chopcast was designed to be a minimalist tool, after all, to be used by anybody who doesn't necessarily have a lot of video editing experience to be able to create these clips very, very quickly. And even if they do have video editing experience to hopefully help and make the process a lot more streamlined for them, especially when they are looking for those key moments. But nevertheless, if you do have video editing experience or you are working with a video editor and you're trying to go further beyond what's already available inside Chopcast, we can actually talk about how you can take content from Chopcast and post-produce it even further. So an easy way to do this, whoops, let's go back here, is you can actually go to the clips page and for any clip that you like, so let's take this one that we were working on, if you wanted to, you can actually go ahead and export the MP4 clip without the subtitles and you can export the subtitle file or the SRT file separately. This allows you to have these individual assets within your video editor of choice to be able to modify that even more. And there's a lot more features coming on the way to make that even easier to post edit it further beyond Chopcast. So, this is just a quick look in terms of what you could do with Chopcast across video, written, and audio content. Please let us know if you have any other questions and enjoy using Chopcast. I'll see you later.